I don't know who we're going to next. I would assume it's Connor, because he only got, like, half a mission last time, but so did Kara, technically. So, I mean, if we're continuing along the same order, then we're going back to Connor. And I'm going to get Hank to yell at me some more. <laughs> I gotta make that better. I gotta, I gotta do better. I'm, I'm, I'm trying too hard to be his friend. I'm trying to be too friendly, you know? Like, I need to just kind of remain professional and give him his space. So, I know that now. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay? Man, evening of the 6th already. 3 p.m. Okay, so he's still neutral. Is he going to get a hot dog? Reconcile. Oh, I can- okay, so he was supposed to get mad at me, I think. He's not gonna like that I'm following him, but I don't like just sitting here doing nothing. Is he taking bets on horses? Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back one to where he just Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Huh. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hello. Hey, won't regret this. Hi. Dude, come on, man. What is your problem? What's my Never problem? You're told. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I knew he wasn't gonna like me coming out of the car, but. <sighs> Partners, reconcile, review facts. I'll apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. I really didn't. Wow. Didn't know what that meant to say. got a brown nose and apology program. Yay! Okay. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? They definitely, absolutely did. There you go. <laughs> Am I supposed to do this? Oh my god, that's a lot of calories. Like, I give a shit. I mean, look at me. But still. <laughs> I'll take tasty food any day. It's 53% water? It's more than half water? How's that possible? That just seems mind-boggling to me. If it's half water, it should be all... Isn't the world a weird place? <laughs> oh my goodness, lipids have... Lipids are fat, right? 36 grams of fat. Ugh. All right. Uh, I'll <laughs> yeah. leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> I'm coming. Wait for me. See, he says. I'm not. I, I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna leave him alone. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. There you go. Free meal. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. I didn't know he didn't pay, but okay. All right, cool. Um, let's keep it on the case. Maybe I should tell you what we know about defense. You read my mind. There you go. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. <laughs> They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Like, don't defend yourself. Emotions always screw everything up. <laughs> yep, they sure do. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. There you go. <laughs> Why don't I tell you a little bit about me? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hey, or that. No. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> life androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. 
Oh, come on, Hank. <laughs> um, can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I mean, I tried to brush this subject earlier, but... I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Yes, Daniel. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? <laughs> know everything there is to know about me? I... no. Everything there is to know... Uh... I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. Let's... Th th that's not what I... Oh, God. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. That's not what I thought he meant! Fuck me! I knew I should have been honest! I made progress and reset it! I'll be in the car if you need me. I also wasn't listening. Dude, it's whenever he gets the little processing thing now, he goes all blinky. He's acting weird. What's going on with Connor? What's... I'm sweating. Connor. It's so hot! You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to the Cyberlife. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. He's acting so weird. Suspect. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a... Strange noise. Feathers. Rock pigeon. Strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. <laughs> Wish I could do that. Right? It'd be a lot easier. <laughs> no paperwork? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Okay. Hello. Hola. He's kind of starting to work with me a little. I should have told him the truth. I should have been honest. Fucking fuck. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Uh-oh. Stay behind me. Got it. Oh, shit. The music is getting kind of intense. I'm staying behind him, just like he ordered. Let's clear the place first before we start exploring. Make sure nobody's here. It sounded like he, like, jumped out the fire escape or something. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna get closer. Okay. <laughs> birdies, birdies! What the fuck is this? Oh my god, that's so many birds! Uh, Holy crap, geez, dude! This place stinks. I'll bet it does. Uh, look at this thing! Military jacket. Uh, RT. Probably initials. Rooster teeth! <laughs> initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Well, what do you think it is? Unless it's like a military rank or something. Oh, fucking. Oh my god, what the heck is going on here? What is with all the birds? I'm investigating the apartment. Wait, I didn't read the other things. Hold on. Confirm the suspect is a deviant and find the cause of a loud noise. Okay. Well, what's this? UFD. Hmm. Okay. Urban farm poster. Deals in the heart of the city. 265 Acre Avenue, Detroit. Okay. Alright. Uh, and then in here. Hello. Oh, more birds. Who could have predicted that? What was that? I thought there was something in there. Okay, well, I looked at that. So, Hank, uh, <laughs> this is quite the day, am I right? <laughs> oh, nope. Opening fridge. He doesn't eat. 
probably deviant. Unless he eats the birds, you know, that's entirely possible. Pigeon farms. Would explain why he has so many. Old barn. Oh, he cares for wild animals. Okay. Okay. What about over here? ID card? Fake ID. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <laughs> oh. oh, Hank. Okay, hold on. Is there anything in here? There is a magazine. Pardon me while I take a moment to read, Hank. Red Ice Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. I put this together already. <laughs> UN warns of World War III, awesome. Thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Nah. Uh, electronic books, you can't smell the paper. Yeah, that's true. See the pages turning yellow. It's true. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's un growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production. I can't believe it. That's not job was actually feeding these fuckers. <laughs> this explains why so many of them kept coming back. Uh, Android production suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. I put this together already, bruh. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As CyberLife's androids spread across the country, they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Yep. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, something that I also put together, is among the active agents in Red Ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. Ah! The National Association for Narcotic Prevention, NANP, says the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. Awesome! America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red Ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto, where the blood is blue, the ice Something is red, the and the money is up. green. Something in the sink? All right, give me a second. Pass the tipping void. Oh, is that supposed to be a real picture of the Earth? Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Oh, the bees are extinct. We read that in a previous article, a previous episode. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Perspective? This is only 20 years from now. Yeah. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000 and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Oh, that's upsetting. Jason Reese, head of the Global Environment Agency, said, This study confirms what many of us has, has suspected for a long time. But the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. They need to know how bad it is. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is, how fast? That's, that's, that's infuriating. Hey there, you said you found something in the sink? Well, let me go look-see. Bathroom sink. Let's, excuse me, birdies. There it is again. We know that humans don't write this stuff. He's definitely a deviant. Any idea what it means? Nope. RA9. Written 2,471 times. Holy shit. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Ralph did too. Why are they obsessed with this sign? I always figured it was the model like number mazes or of an android. Mazes? What do you mean, mazes? I'm gonna, I guess, look here. Well, he stood on it. A 
of course. What in here doesn't have traces of avian fecal matter? <laughs> Recently disturbed. What was the... I think he must have been using the stool to stand on to reach and, you know, start writing on empty walls when he ran out of space. That's my analysis of it. Oh, hello. What's this? A marker. Okay. Midnight mood. <laughs> Black. Used recently. Still wet. I mean, I, he was standing on the stool. What, did he fall? Yup. He was here recently. Well, we heard him run away. Right? So that's just him riding. Okay. Oh, shit. And he fell. So that's what made the noise. He fell. When he heard me banging on the door, he's like, Oh, shit! And he fell and he ran. He ran to the living room. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at what's in the sink first. Oh, what the heck is that? If you put this in your mouth... No! What the fuck is that? Dude, what are you doing? Okay, it's just blue blood. Why is there so much blood in the sink? I'll take it. Oh, he popped it off. Deactivated November 6th at 11.30. It's LED is in the sink. That's like, what, four hours ago? Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking visions. <laughs> right? He doesn't have a sense of smell. There's nothing else to see here. Let's get out of this shithole before I die of an asthma attack. No, but... No, but... No, we, we, we have to look. another couple of minutes, Lieutenant. Uh, Alright, you got two minutes. Then I'm out of here. Gotcha. The fuck? I gotta, I, I gotta look for more stuff. And I am on a ticking clock. Okay. Because I know he ran in here, so I gotta keep looking. And I gotta move quick. Finger marks are recent. No fingerprints. Yep, it's an android. Shocking. Alright. Skid mark. Galvanized steel. What did it did it fall? It was hanging okay, yeah, it fell. It was a metal hook. It was hanging from the ceiling and he must have knocked it over when he was running away. Yep. Ran toward the entrance. Okay. And then What am I missing something here? There it is. He heard us enter and was like, oh shit, can't go that way. Right? So then he took off for here. He's still here. He went in the attic again? What is it with you people in the attic? He's still here. I gotta get him out. I'll find other deviants as long as it's not Kara. Oh! Jesus Christ! Goddamn fucking pigeons! No, go after him! Chase it! Going after him! That way, that way, that way! Oh god! Okay. Hi, Jacob! Not now! Oh! Okay, focus. Easy but slow, fast but risky. I'll go this way! I'll take a risk! Balance, safer detour. I'm going fast but risky! Woo! I hit the wrong button! I hit the wrong button again! He still made it! We're good! Okay. What am I doing? Direct but crowded. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. I don't want to push past people. I'll go this way. No! I'll get you, you bastard! Ah! Oh boy. Oh, what a jump, Connor. There he goes. Okay, I'm getting closer. Oh, well, the fuck do you want me to do here? Okay, going that way. Where am I going? Oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta try and catch up. I gotta try and catch up. Got it. Okay. Come on, Connor, you're almost there. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Software, including class four errors. I so screwed up, guys. Been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. He he lived. Don't you fucking move. Oh, bastard. Hank, I'm so you sorry. Phone, you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? What am I to you, I Hank? One in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. All right. Come along. Oh no, dude. Holy shit. I got some uh I got some make it up to do. I lost him. Androids. And Hank hates me. Oh man. I I went against my better judgment. I I don't know why. Ugh, catch it. I did not do well. Can I do that again? I want to do it again. I don't want to. I don't want to pursue with this. I don't. I want to do it again. I made a split second decision. And it was wrong. I didn't even I didn't even secure him. I I lost him. I I I I ruined my relationship with Hank with one bad decision and I didn't even get the suspect. <laughs> <laughs> 